Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'll be taking a look at some more Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, so this is more of another screen tearing reduction test, I'm using OBS this time. So I do need your feedback to let me know what you guys think of um, how the video looks. So I'm just going to go through the in-game settings now, bang at resolution of 3840 by 2160 field of view at 90 and using 120 hertz. So I'm using my LG B9 OLED. Um, I'm currently using maximum settings. Also enabled Fidelity FX CAS, which does bring back some of that sharpness, which is taken away by using TAA. I'm only using 25% because at 4K, the game is pretty damn sharp anyway. So yeah, need your help again, guys. Um, as you know, I've been getting a few issues with screen tearing using my HDMI pass-through capture cards and um, trying to do something about it because I want to improve the image quality for you guys. So I just want you guys to tell me what you think. Can you notice screen tearing in this video um, or is it reduced to what you're used to? So uh, just leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, that will help me kind of work out if what I'm doing is actually having a uh, yeah, desired effect. Let's take this down. Anyway, so I'm going to be continuing with Horizon Zero Dawn. I really, really like this game. I owned it on my uh, PlayStation 4 Pro for the very, very briefest of moments that I owned one. And I played this game non-stop. And to get it on PC, in glorious 4K, native 4K, and uh, 60 FPS, is uh, it really, really brings the game to a different level. So... Um, there was a lot of issues when the game first came out, of course, um, which was well documented uh, by Digital Foundry and some others. And it's now um, got to a level where um, if you were to pick it up now, you would have a really good, good experience. The game is, however, very demanding if you do intend to try to play at 4K Ultra settings. Um, the only cards I know that could really do it is uh, 6800 XT, um, RTX 3080 and above. Those are the only cards that can hold 60 FPS on this game at 4K Ultra settings. You need a beefy system for sure. But yeah, continue with the main story. So potential spoilers ahead. I just thought I'd throw that in there. I don't want to upset anyone who hasn't played the game yet. But getting really, really good performance. I'm using the um, RTX 3090 NVIDIA Founders Edition as you some of you may know I've changed my Founders Edition um, to my main card now. I don't own the Tough OC anymore. Founders Edition has its charm. Um, it does have a bit more of a power limit, so I've got a little bit more room to play with when it comes to overclocking, which allows for more stable clocks. As you can see, my card throwing 395 watt at the moment. It's not, it's not desirable in any way, but it does um, allow me to have better overclocking headroom and I've already demonstrated that it's actually a faster card. So I've got a few uh, enemies here. Let's uh, take out the, uh, I think it's a uh, Sawtooth. Quickly lay a uh, trap for it. <laughs> Doesn't know I'm here yet, but that's okay. I don't know now. I'm gonna finish it off. So I took that down without taking any damage. But I'm quite a high level. I'm like level 60 or something like that. So these guys are small fry to me now. Aloy doing the business. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, this game just looks spectacular in high resolution. It really, really brings out those details. Um, one of these, these are one of those games I really, really envied the console gamers for having. And um, now that we've got it, um, yeah, I'm very happy with it. And there's actually rumors that we might be getting DT Sport. Of course, we're getting um bad other game i forgot what it's called now um, so there's a few playstation exclusives that are coming to the pc and uh, hopefully everyone just goes out and buys them even if 
it's just to kind of show Sony that we actually appreciate having these ports on the PC so we can get more in the future. We might end up getting God of God of War 3, you never know. So I encourage everyone to go out and uh, buy these these exclusives that are getting ported over. This guy's a little bit more tough than the sword tooth. A little bit more awkward to kill actually, I say. He's using like this optic camouflage, so harder to track as well. But I took him down, no problem. So it seems I've got to climb all the way up there. There is a point here where you can start climbing. Here it is. Quite a long climb. So a lot of you guys have been expressing concern to me about the RTX 3090 Founders Edition memory temperature. It's something I'm well aware of. The GDDR6 in general gets quite hot, but um, with the Founders Edition there is a bit of a heat spot that can be remedied with um, thermal pads, but look, this is the way I look at it. The card has three years warranty. It doesn't necessarily impact game performance that I've seen. I haven't seen my memory throttle back once since I've been using it and I'm using it overclocked as well. So the way I look at it is it's out of sight and out of mind. It's not something that I can see unless I, I actually go looking for. I'm happy to play with the card with 100 degrees Celsius and GDDR, GDDR6 or even higher if it goes to above that. As long as it's stable, I don't care. If the card eventually fails, hopefully it won't, uh, then my three year warranty will take care of it. And you know what I'm like. As soon as the 40,000 series comes out from Nvidia, I'll be replacing this card anyway. So I don't really get attached to my hardware. So I don't really think of the long term like some people will so I appreciate some people will want to think about the long term but for me you know I won't be owning this card for too too long okay so where to go now over here yeah I mean the game displays is incredibly smooth just look at that um, frame time graph it's just generally very very butter um, straight very very smooth that's what you want creatures over here but I'm not interested in getting into a fight at the moment but I will collect some more resources so I want to keep my ammo up worst thing is to run out of wood when you need to craft arrows seems that there is some more Creatures, but these guys are quite harmless. But they will charge me if they see me. But I've got the perk where I can run past them and they won't hear me. Oh, I thought I'd mention as well, I've managed to get my hands on a 6900 XT. I have got the XFX Merc. Speedster 319 Black Edition. So the Black Edition is like the overclocked version. It's got a binned um, die, so it should provide it good overclocking performance. I was speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close, and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh really? And who put those there? Hmm. <laughs> right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we going to do that? Oh, wait. Still gonna... I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. So you still get that slight spring frame spike when... Um... Where holds, where we'd said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. <laughs> Love the banter that she's just doing with herself. All right, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. 
When night falls, we'll talk. <sighs> At least I'll have a fire to keep me company. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the Focus Network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disk, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that. And the focus network will crash. So you were part of the eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. Aloy is quite a fiery character. She's always up for a scrap. <laughs> I like about her. Um, I'll just go through this crevice now. Gonna be tight. Dark, I've got to crouch. More like soldiers. Held in reserve for a war yet to come. You'll have to get past them. This is the easy way in. The back way in. I didn't say it'd be easy. I'm quite sneaking past these guys. It'd probably be the best thing to do. I probably wouldn't have too much trouble killing them either. I don't think where's the next bit of cover I can take. These guys leave corruption on the floor so it kind of affects the damage. I better get out of here. Stick to the fire, that hurts them the most. One down. Not much for stealth, eh? Down now as well, just one more to go, I think. Yeah, they're all dead. Get out of here. There is one or two more in the distance though. Probably take them out from here. Yeah, you like this. Show yourself. A bit too high to climb. How do I get across here? Okay, gotta go this way.
I'm swinging. How do I get up here now? Must be a way to climb. I'll find another way around. That's all the threats eliminated. Okay, we can climb this way. Okay, that should do it. Explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. <laughs> right, sneak past these guys if I can. Refill my arrows. These scrappers fight well as a team, so I can't really uh, attack this one while it's watching. down. Take this one out as well. It's two down. They still don't know I'm here and I want to keep it that way. Getting close now. Head for that ridge. Yeah, I need to find some cover. Thing about the scrappers, they can do this alarm thing where they can scan, and if you're in the area of detection, they will know exactly where you are. Keep it moving. Getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. <sighs> so much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. Yeah, I think I'll enjoy killing them. Look out! I really care about the stealth approach. They'll all die very quickly. Okay, it's a mistake you won't live to regret for very long. Try to run. You're gonna explode, so stay away from you. guys are far too weak to challenge me. No. It's a binding operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh good, another secret. That shelter. It's bigger than the others. Find the tall neck, Aloy. There's no time to poke around. There is if I make time. Okay. Uh, how do I get across? I'm not going to play them right now. There's only one way across, I think. I don't think you can jump. 
but have a lot of look around. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. Around here looks trained up. Drag marks leading towards that gate. The gate's barred. No getting past that. You'll have to find another way. You think? Okay. Well, let's go back across the bridge now. Maybe that's something I had to do. Can we climb up this way? I don't know. We can't. So we're going to have to go across the bridge again. Inviting. That uh, seems like it's just for sure. Maybe I'll push something over. He's a fanatic, all right. Single minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that tall neck? It would not have been easy to drag a tall neck down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. Feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. Okay. How do I get any higher? Why did I even let you climb up here if you couldn't go any further? Weird. I'll go a different way. Module's casing now. Aloy, do as I say, or all is lost. get the hell out of here, they're gonna blast, blast me to smithereens if I stay here. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you think? Oh man, I died. <laughs> but uh, again. Wait. 
bro. <laughs> They're really trying to kill me. Kill the necessary ones and just keep running. She made it halfway down before she fell. Before she survived. I got pretty intense. Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. Okay, guys, I think I'll leave it there. Again, please let me know um, what you think if the screen tearing has been reduced or altogether eliminated and just what you think of the overall video quality because that's what I'm really examining here anyway that's pretty much it for me hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching